to our vlog. I wanted to start by giving a little potty training update. I wasn't gonna make this a full separate video because I don't feel comfortable filming any part of this, so I thought I could just talk about it here for a couple minutes. I know Rory appears in a lot of my vlogs, but I try to be respectful of how I portray him and make sure he's not going to be embarrassed or not like what I filmed in the future. So I just, I'm not going to film him like in his underwear or like in the process of potty training, if that makes sense. But we started about a week ago yesterday. I think today's like day eight. And I actually started like two months ago for about two hours and then it was super overwhelming. So I kind of just gave up. I didn't have too much research going into this. And honestly, it was extremely overwhelming and frustrating and it was just not very fun. It's like the only time in parenthood so far that I've felt this way, like just really frustrated and out of control. It's gotten a lot better, but that's just how I felt in the beginning couple of days. So the first couple of days we kept him naked from the waist down, and then he, we would just put him on the potty like every 20 or 30 minutes. He really wasn't getting the hang of it until day three. He just woke up and just kind of knew what to do. And ever since then, it's been pretty good to the point where now he's wearing underwear and pants and we have very few accidents throughout the day. Most of the time when we do have accidents, it's he starts to go while telling us and then stops and then finishes on his little potty so there's just like a little bit of dribble to clean up but not like a full accident and that's mostly where we are right now we're just really happy that he did catch on really quickly and that i just decided to start I'm so glad i just went for it because if i hadn't started yet he would still be in diapers and now he's made so much progress in just a week so in a couple more weeks i'm pretty sure we'll be accident free or at least close to it and yeah, he's just, he's doing great, and he is much more confident and happy with himself now, too. He doesn't like being messy or dirty, so I think that's why he was so quick to pick it up. If anyone has any more specific questions, I can answer them, but I just wanted to give kind of a brief potty training update of where we are now. It's also Rory's birthday party this weekend. His birthday is next Thursday. It's currently Thursday, so one week from today, but... His birthday party is this weekend we're just having a couple close friends over so i'm going to be making a couple little decorations and little activities for the kids i'm going to make a sensory table for them the party's bee themed so i'm going to dye some rice yellow probably do that as soon as he wakes up and then i need to wrap his presents too but i thought i would show what i got for his birthday in case anyone needed any ideas they're currently hiding in our office so i'm gonna go grab them and show you guys Oh, actually, one of them is down here. It's a Grimm's block set. Currently under our bed. I think I'll set it up so it looks like that and really fun instead of in this box. But I think I'll have fun with that. And all of these bins under our bed are either gifts for Rory or gifts for like friends or family members. Kind of all in those buckets. Just future gift ideas. This is our craft closet in the office. It's a disaster, but that's a project for a different day. So we got him this baby. He doesn't watch much TV or pretty much any TV, but when we went on our emergency trip last month, we downloaded some videos and specifically this Pixar short where there was a baby that looks sort of like this. Different race, but it's the closest that they had. So I tried to make the baby look like the baby from this Pixar short that he likes. And then this is the Love Every Doll stroller. Pretty much the only stroller on the market that I could find that wasn't super girly. And I like that it's wooden and more sustainably made. So a pair of those. I think I like this. It's pretty cute. And hopefully he recognizes the baby from his show. I'm really not sure why dolls and doll products and strollers have to be all pink and only for girls anyways. The point of dolls is to prepare girls to be mothers and so we should also prepare boys to be fathers and big brothers and uncles and everything. So it's just strange to me that there's a stigma behind baby dolls when it's literally just portraying a baby. But anyways, we try to break those stigmas around here and get him toys of all gender stereotypes. This is the bag of stuff other decorations for his party. We're keeping it pretty minimal, so just a couple things. 
My mom found these yellow pants for him and then I ordered a bee shirt, but it's not here yet. I found this really cute bee stuffed animal. A honeycomb tablecloth. These little favor boxes all I'm gonna fill with pretzels and popcorn. Those are his favorite snacky type snacks. And then we have this B balloon arch. That looks pretty difficult, but will be cute if we can figure it out. Some B cardboard cutouts. These are the bees I'm going to put in his sensory table. They're little felt bees. So I'll dye rice yellow and then put these bees in there with some wind scoops and stuff as an activity for the kids. This is a happy birthday banner with bees on it. And I got these to leave out on the snack table. Little honey sticks. I thought that would be cute. And then some cupcake wrappers. The rest of the stuff in here is kind of random. We're gonna have regular cupcakes for other people and then I'm going to make some healthier versions of cupcakes for Rory and maybe the other kids that don't want full tons of sugar and stuff. But yeah, that's, that's everything. The fun fact is that I hate the color yellow, so I'm not sure why I picked this theme because it's all yellow, but I think it'll be pretty cute. As for the rice, I have this giant bag. I got at Walmart of just plain rice. I've used it for rainbow rice before. Um, usually when I try to make yellow, it turns orange with food coloring. So I'm going to try to just use yellow paint and see if that works because I want more of a bright yellow instead of orange yellow. But I'll wait until Rory wakes up so he can make that with me. I think he'll enjoy that. And as for potty training, we keep this little potty here. For the first couple days we didn't have this, we just had the big one in the actual bathroom. But he seems to do better with this. In the top we keep this random little fidget toy that he can only have when he's sitting on the toilet. And then underneath we have wipes and an extra pair of underwear in there. From the time he tells us he has to go, we have about 0 0.001 second to get him on the potty. So it's more helpful to have one in his environment rather than running to the bathroom. Although we still use the bathroom maybe a fourth or half the time. But it's really handy to have one in the space where we are the most often. And the number one potty training tip I would give you is to buy tons of toddler underwear and then go back and buy way more than that. Just to cover the bases of all the accidents that will be happening. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to... Can I hold it for you? No. You want to hold it by yourself? Okay, don't touch the lens. Okay, what are you going to talk about? You want to go get a drink and a snack? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your drink is on the little table over here. Very hot. Do, are we supposed to touch it? No. No way. You like hot. What, what would happen if you touch the fire? Nah. Oh. It would hurt. Nope. We don't put eggs in there either. Remember, it'll burn your skin. That would not be good. Cucumber. Cucumber. You're showing your cucumber. No. Mm. Hi everyone. Say thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Say my name is Rory. Hi Mama. Say my birthday is next week. My birthday is next week. And I'm gonna be two. Be two. What do you wanna do? I'm having coffee. Well, we're not gonna have coffee right now. I'm You like pushing the buttons? Yeah. One of his new favorite things to do is making us coffee. Well, we already had coffee this morning. Well, you can make mommy's coffee tomorrow. She doesn't need any coffee right now. Thank you, though. 
we can put paint. We're gonna put paint in there, yellow, and shake it and turn it to make the, all the rice yellow. Do you wanna help me with that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, uh, uh. Take a black and take a black and I mean the orange. We're gonna make it yellow. We only have little bags, so we're gonna have to do a couple at a time. Okay, you got the bags? Yeah. We're gonna pour it in here to let it dry, okay? A pool. Yes. Yes. Perfect. We pour it in the pan once it turns yellow. Okay, wait, 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 let me open the bag. Okay. It's dry. Paint and then a little bit of water. Oh, it's dry. Hopefully, and yeah, then you're gonna shake it. Shake that really hard until all the rice turns yellow. Keep going. No. Did it turn yellow yet? Grab from the top, from the little corners right here. There you go. Okay. This is the final product. I we did some couscous too. I'm still not sure about it. Yellow is just a hard color to get because it just looks like food to me, like chicken flavored rice or something. It's not very bright, but it's the best. That's the best we could do. So hopefully it looks yellow enough. Maybe in the bright sunlight. It's gonna be outside, so hopefully it's good enough out there. But these couscous pearls look really cute. I kind of wish I'd have just done those, but I don't want to waste rice, so now I'll just do both. <laughs>